so hello and welcome to lesson four right so in this lesson we are going to study what we call collection data types okay so recall that in our first um in our second video so right, we talked about data types where we say we had the float the ends the strings the boolean and the rest okay yes so we have another kind of data type called the collection data types collection means like we collect a lot of things like the integers the strings the flows and we'll put them inside those ones okay so um we'll introduce you to these list tuples and dictionaries sometimes we have what we call sets okay so you can see sets s e t in some test books okay so we'll talk about lists tuples and dictionaries in this video okay so in the preceding chapters like videos we learn about python's most important fundamental data types that's the string the ends as i said so in this chapter we will extend our programming options by learning how to gather data items together using python's collection data types so we will cover tuples and list in depth and also introduce new collection data types including dictionaries we'll go much into it don't worry so it is often convenient to hold entire collections of data items and python provides several ways we can do this all right so now let's look at a list so a list is a sequence of mutable python objects so when you say mutable mutable means you know in biology mutation means changes so mutable means that it can be changed right and when you say immutable that means it cannot be changed so list is a sequence of mutable python objects so like we have a lot of objects together but we can change it okay so a list can also be defined as a value that contains multiple values in an ordered sequence values inside a list are called items and a list uses what the square brackets so um we will don't worry we will go to our console and give some list so a list is a kind of collection you know a collection allows us to put many values in a single variable a collection is nice because we can carry many values around in one convenient package so let me create some list for you okay so i'm going to create a list a list of students in math 4 So whose name should I write? Of course, my name should be the first one. <laughs> okay, so let me write some other names. So if you see your name, yes, you should be proud of it. This is a list, alright. So the list of students math for here is just a variable name. So I'm just doing an assignment and I have a list here called so the list contains Randolph, Oliver, Godfrey, Ikea, Adepa, Akugri. I can even add more to it. Something like eight, nine, seven. So I can add several things to it. So it is very important because you see the range of the Oliver Godfrey and the rest are strings. It's nine, seven and the rest are integers. 6.5 is a float we are able to take all these things and put them together as one then it becomes what a list right so this is a nice list that i've created okay so that's that's how we create a list in python right we start with the square bracket we close it then everything that we want to be contained in the list we type it okay so you see if i should go to type of It will tell me what is a list. 
you can see that here all right so that's your a list it's very simple to create a list in python so this list constants are surrounded by square brackets and the elements in the list are separated by commas right you could see that so here for instance we have a list containing one two 24 and 76 right here red yellow blue so these are examples of the list that we are printing them so it says a list element can be any python object even another list so that means we can store a list in another list so you can see with this example we had one another list five six then we had seven right and a list can be empty so an empty list is just you open the square brackets you close it that's an empty list so that's it with a list okay don't worry in our next video we'll talk about some operations on a list so now that we are done with the list let's go to tuples right so a tuple is a sequence of immutable python objects if you could recall we said the list is mutable but the tuple is immutable that means that once their value is set, you can't change them. For them, they don't. You can't do any changes to them. You see, tuples are sequences just like list. The difference between tuples and list are the tuples cannot be changed, unlike the list. And also, tuples use C's parentheses, whilst list use square brackets. Okay, so an empty tuple is written as two parentheses containing nothing. And the objects or items in the tuple and list are separated by a comma, so you should know that. So this is an example of tuples, right? So tuple one, you know, because it's a tuple, we are starting with the parentheses. We close the parentheses, so we have phrases math nineteen ninety seven two thousand and one. Then all these are examples of tuples, okay? So you can type them in your console and find out. So now let's go to dictionaries, okay? So um. Actually, with all the collection data types that we have, the list tuple dictionary is the most powerful data type. Okay, so a dictionary is a collection which is unordered, changeable, and indexed, and it has no duplicate members. So to create dictionaries in Python, we use the curly brackets, right? You know, list we are using square brackets tuples we're using parentheses so for dictionaries we use what the curly brackets okay so dictionaries are python's most powerful data collection data type dictionary allows us to do fast database like operations in python and dictionaries have different names in different languages so in Perl or php it's called associative arrays in java we call them properties or map or hash map and in C sharp or .NET, we call them property bag list. They are very powerful. Python and um, dictionary, sorry. <laughs> so these are to reset dictionary literals use curly brackets and have a list of key value pairs. Key value pairs. So I know you've heard this in class before, right? So dictionaries always have their key and they have their value. Okay. So I'm coming to create and you can make an empty dictionary using empty curly braces just in the case of the list and the tuples so this a dictionary i'm creating called jjg so this jjg we open the curly bracket right and we type so this is the key for the first one chuck the value is what one fred the value is what 42 january the value is what 100 right so this is how we assess it and this example here is just an example of an empty um dictionary okay so let's create a dictionary here in our console So maybe I'm creating a dictionary of some students in math four and the marks they had in scientific computing one. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
so i think this is okay right so you can see that priscilla i'm seeing so this is the key the value is what 18 so i can see priscilla had 18 amma had 78 kudia also had 78 right so if i should go to the type of It's a term why it's worth a dictionary. Okay. So these are recreate dictionaries in Python. They are very, very important. And an assessment here says which statement is correct. So which of the statements is correct here? So list is mutable and tuple is immutable. That's the correct statement here. He says, what type of data is this? Right. So you can see that. Oh, you was the answer. Is it array of tuples, tuples of list, list of tuples, and invalid type? So you can see that we have a list, and the list contains what tuples. So it's a list of tuples. That's C. Right. So that's all for the fourth lesson. So seeing the fifth lesson, in the fifth lesson, we are going to do something we call list method so the list and the tuples some methods on them to do some operations to them it's going to be very very interesting okay all right so see you in the next video thank you